Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Today, I'm going to do a species profile on the Vigia venestratus. The Vigia venestratus. This is a species of fish that I've never kept before. I have kept other species of Vigia, such as Argenta, Melanorus, and Spillum. I didn't have much information on this fish, so I reached out on Facebook and dug out some of my own books and did some reading up. Thanks to David from the Facebook group Any Fish UK for all the information that he gave me. Really, really helpful. It always amazes me how helpful people are in the hobby. We are all in it together, and sharing information is what it's all about. The Venestratus comes from Mexico. It's found in coastal regions and inland. It was originally described by Gunther in 1860. And the common name for this cichlid is the window cichlid because of the horizontal and vertical bars, particularly on the females when breeding. In fact, window comes from the Latin Venestrata and it must have had an impression on Gunther when he discovered it and named the fish. It's believed that the species was first imported in 1912 but disappeared from the hobby around 1920. It was finally reintroduced into the hobby around about 1983. The group that I recently acquired were caught by Max from Max Cichlids in Largo Ketting Mad Cow. And I was quite taken with the different colour morphs. I had lots of questions, were the colour morphs natural? or was it a man-made fish? Hence, I started doing some research. There are currently three different natural colour morphs. The normal coloration, a pink coloration, and a marbled coloration. The marbled is a cross between the pink and the standard. that I've acquired, there's nine in total. Rick from Predator Aquatics mentored them for me. We believe there's five females and four males. There's five of the pink variety and four of the normal variety. Max who caught them has actually lost his wild caught pair. So these ones are the first generation from wild. Hopefully I'll be able to breed them in the future and keep the line going. The Vigia fenestratus is quite a large cichlid. The males would reach 30 centimetres or 12 inches in total. The females stay a little bit smaller. It's a normal temperature range between 77 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit with a pH range of between 6.8 and 7.5. They take about 12 months to mature into adult fish. The males take a little bit longer. They mature when they're about six inches in size and then they start to pair off. Mine are between five and six inches now so hopefully it won't be too long before they start pairing. They can be quite temperamental and energetic when young but as they grow they actually become more sedate. They require a spacious environment for the adults numerous hiding places. They are omnivorous feeders, but they do like to have a lot of vegetable matter. For this reason, I wouldn't recommend feeding the diet with heavy meaty foods. When they do spawn, large pairs can raise over a thousand young. And the fry is said to be large and robust for 
easily fed on crushed flake or brine shrimp. They're not very common in the hobby. Hopefully I'll be able to get mine to breed, hopefully with the mix between the pink and the natural form, and we can make some of the marbled ones more available to other hobbyists. If anybody watching this video has kept these before and has got more information, please leave it in the comments below. I'm really, really interested to learn more about these. I've enjoyed doing the research on this fish for the last week or so, and I do hope that you find the information useful. Thanks once again to all the people that provided information for me, it is very much appreciated. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and the information. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want to be notified of the next video, hit the bell. See you all again soon.